Cincinnati right now. Spring is in the air and so is all of that uh, pesky pollen causing allergies for more than 23 million Americans, including me. So we're helping you get ahead of those allergies this year. We are joined now by Dr. Ahmed Setagat, who is a physician and a professor at UC Health. Thank you so much for being here. He loves studying allergies, <laughs> which we love to hear because we certainly need it this time of year. Yeah, absolutely. So let's start with why Cincinnati is so bad geographically with allergies, or are we just being dramatic and thinking that it's really bad? <laughs> no, absolutely not. First of all, thank you very much for having me on the show. So it, this area is really bad for allergies for a number of reasons. The first is our climate is perfect for allergies. If you think about what allergy is, it's an inflammatory reaction to substances that we're inhaling into our airway all the time allergens yeah and you know with the climate being how it is it's so temperate um, we get lots of release of pollen into the air all the time all throughout the year and we're noticing it especially this th this past year <laughs> so that in particular is one of the reasons why we have so much allergies is because we're being exposed to these allergens so frequently you yeah. talk to us a little bit about how people I jokingly said including me at, just today it all started and I'm thinking here we are over the weekend we have the freezing temperatures sure. and yet today I have an eye that's just watering and I can tell the allergies are sort of starting so how do we get a head start before it really becomes bad. And it is so, I mean, I often say it's almost worse than being sick because you just feel sluggish. Right, so it's becoming harder and harder to get ahead of the allergies. We used to be able to predict when allergy season was gonna start, typically around the beginning of March. Um, but as our temperature becomes a little, I mean, I've noticed it's become a little bit more erratic. We're getting these 70 degree days in February. Mm -hmm. I grew up in this area. I don't remember getting 70 degree days in February. We're getting these spurts of pollen released into the air earlier and earlier and earlier. So patients are getting reactions and these allergy attacks a lot faster. So that does have a direct impact. The fact that 100%. we're having like kind of this on off weather, cold, warm, cold, warm. Yeah, these, I think it's these warm weather spells that we're getting, it's what's causing this pollen to be released into the air. In an ideal circumstance, if you, if you can guess when that pollen is gonna start to be released, and again, in the past, it was a little bit more predictable, mm. you start taking your allergy medications typically two to four weeks ahead of time. Oh, wow. But now these days, you know, we're trying to encourage our patients to start taking their allergy medications in January to try to head off the allergies that now we're starting to get in February. That's insane. Yeah. But I guess it makes sense. So you said just especially within the last year, is it because we've been a little bit more warmer over the last year or are there maybe new things blooming or what? No, I think the weather is becoming more and more erratic with every passing year. Again, we, we seem to be getting these warm weather spells earlier and earlier in, in the winter, or later and later in the winter, earlier and earlier for the spring. Are there any particular treatments, aside from starting your allergy meds sooner, are there any treatments that work? I have a son, one of my boys, who is re has t really terrible allergies. I always joke with people and say, oh, we don't open our windows in our house, we just don't, sure. you know? But are there any treatments that you really recommend recommend shots, things like that, that you really think people need to consider? So you actually described one of the treatments, it's avoidance, mm. to the extent that you can. Now we don't wanna tell our patients, and we never tell our patients that they should live in a bubble, but if there are ways of avoiding those pollens and those allergens, that's a great thing to do. Keeping the windows closed when you know pollen counts are gonna be high. Another thing that's easy too, is if you're gonna go out, when you come back in, change your clothes immediately so that you're not dragging those pollens all throughout the house as Shower. well. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know? Um, I, I will tell you, the allergy medications that are available these days, they're actually very effective and have minimal side effects, so that is a great option mm -hmm. um, if, if you're willing to be consistent with their usage. Using them a day here, day there, often doesn't lead to a lot of great efficacy. But, but you did also bring up shots, and shots yeah. are also great. I mean, that's the only way that modern medicine has to actually change the immune system so you stop reacting to those allergens. Okay, now I don't, I, I'm not bragging, but I don't suffer from allergies. Uh -oh. Will I eventually, could, could I eventually? Yeah. I didn't grow up here, so I don't know if maybe that's why or yeah. what. Well, that sounds like bragging. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> um, so so uh, the more that you are exposed to allergens, the more likely you are to develop allergies. Oh. So it's, it's a matter of chance and probability. And the longer that you're around those allergens, the more likely you are to develop allergies. And which is one of the reasons why you may hear patients or individuals describing why well, I moved to the, to the Ohio River Valley, I didn't have allergies. And now two, three, four, ten years mm -hmm. in, 
now I have allergies. I, I honestly, and I don't say this, to, but I, I never, I grew up here, I never mm -hmm. had allergies. But as I've gotten older in the last couple of years, and maybe it is because it's gotten worse and it's warmer earlier, but yeah, it's yeah. definitely been a problem. Well, hmm. Dr. Stedegat, thank you so much for being here with us.